Okay, I tried to do an intro when I started this video, but my first rush was a very sweaty team. So now that they're out of the game, let's actually get into the video. So hey everyone, this is Flub here, and today I'm going to talk about how all of my Minecraft accounts got hacked, and pretty much how my computer also got a pretty terrible virus. So yeah, it's a very interesting story. Now first of all, I want to start- Bro, come on. First of all, I do want to start out by saying, please do not replicate anything I talk about in this video. Everything I did to lead to my account being hacked was stupid and everything that I will say that I did, do not do any of it. So with that out of the way, let's get started. So it was December of 2020 and at this time it was COVID. It was quarantine. Wow, that poor teammate. It was COVID, it was quarantine and I was very bored pretty much all the time. So I was looking for some stuff to do. So I really got into some Minecraft SMPs. Now, if you don't know what that is, basically stands for survival multiplayer. Basically a Minecraft server that you play on with multiple people as multiplayer. So I'd play with a lot of friends and it was basically something that I did all the time. It was really, really fun and still is to this day. Now, for some reason, I thought it was a genius, hilarious, amazing idea to download a hacked client so that I could fly around like scaffold, b-hop on my friends. I thought that would be so funny. Now, I don't know why I thought this was a good idea. Like thinking about it now, it's stupid. I don't know why. It literally makes no sense why I did this. But I decided to go to Google and I Googled Minecraft hack client, pretty much downloaded the first thing that came up. So now that I had Minecraft hack.exe on my computer, I was ready to go and b-hop on my friends, which was so stupid. So I logged on to this SMP thinking this was going to be so funny. Like I gathered them all in the call. I was like, guys, look at this. I learned how to God bridge. And I immediately just like tower scaffolded in the sky, flew around like I it was some like brain dead activity on my part. And I thought it was so funny at the time. I was like laughing in the call, thinking that they were gonna be laughing to be like, no way, this is so funny, haha. <laughs> and I pretty much was faced with this reaction. Wow, so cool. They like laughed for maybe like 0.01 second and that was it. Like they did not care at all. And honestly, that was a very humbling experience for me. It was a humbling that I very much so needed. So after I received no reinforcement for my strange actions. I was like, okay, well, this was stupid. I'm just gonna delete the hack now. So I went into my, my installed apps, I deleted minecrafthack.exe, and I was like, well, it's done, it's gone. Like no, no more worrying anymore, it's gone for good. And obviously that was not the case. Now, while I thought it was gone, turns out minecrafthack.exe was actually malicious and it was perhaps in numerous different locations on my computer without me knowing basically a rat or a, a virus like that so i thought it was gone but it clearly wasn't and i didn't realize that until a few weeks later so now at this point it was christmas day of 2020 family had gathered we were ready to have a great christmas dinner with the whole family the turkey was on the table it was a beautiful a beautiful sight to see now before i couldn't even enjoy that i was on my computer maybe like 10 20 minutes before i got a dm from one of my friends on discord and this was not unusual in itself but the contents were very unusual he said nice alt you got buddy and had a picture of my alt account with him on the account now first of all i was confused because it was just a picture of like a minecraft lobby with him on the account like there was no evidence that it was me just through the screenshot but what was confusing was that he also included the email and password of my account in that message so with that, I knew that this was not bait. This was real. He's on my account. How did this happen? I've been compromised. So immediately I texted him. I was like, well, what's going on? Like how blah, 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 like freaking out pretty much like super, super confused. And basically he explained that one of his friends had bought a bunch of like Minecraft alt accounts because at this time you could download and buy like a, a ton of Minecraft accounts for pretty much dirt cheap. Like you could probably buy like a dozen Minecraft accounts for like a penny. Like it was so cheap. 
and one of the accounts he bought was mine. Now realizing that my alt account had been stolen, I was really, really confused. At the time, I was using my alt account pretty much more than my main account. I had a really big win streak going on my main account. It was in this the numerous hundreds. And I really just wanted to play some Bedwars and chill. I didn't want to have to stress. So I used an alt account and actually I'm on that account right now. Whoa, buddy, whoa. 200 IQ. Because I'd been spending so much time on this alt account, I wondered if there was something going on that some somehow this account got hacked, but nothing else. So my friend was pretty much asking me questions like, did you download anything suspicious? Like trying to be like tech support for me. And I was really like confused at first. I had no idea because I totally forgot about my whole hacking situation until just at that moment. And then I realized, oh yeah, I downloaded minecrafthack.exe. Like, do you think that could have possibly caused that? Like that's the only thing I've downloaded in the last month. And pretty much he called me an idiot. I had been humbled a second time, which was very needed. And I realized, wow, I'm not very internet safe. I thought I was, but look, I just downloaded minecrafthack.exe. Like I gotta be an idiot to do that. And I just got my accounts compromised because I was this stupid. I really did this. I can't believe I did that. So the origin of my hack being discovered things made a lot more sense to me at that point. I realized, wow, this is this is not very smart of me. I can't believe I really downloaded Minecraft hack and expected to not get hacked. So with the origin out of the way, I realized I need to get this fixed because right now it may just seem like it's my alt account that got hacked, which is a, a big deal because it's tied to my email, but it's not like my main Minecraft account that's like 400 stars or whatever star it was at the time. Now at this point, I had zero knowledge on what ratting or really like viruses even were. I didn't know much about it. So I thought, oh, well, that account's hacked. Like, I must have just done something on that account. Like, it's all good. Told my friend, I was like, all right, um, like, I, it's gone. Like, the hack client's gone. Like, it must have just been because I signed into that account. And he was like, no, you're stupid. You need to factory reset your entire computer. Now, I had never done this before. I was little brainless noob. I was like, whoa, whoa, why? What, why? And he told me, well, if your account is ratted or has a virus like this, you're not going to delete it by just deleting the file. Like, it will pretty much stick around. You need to factory reset your computer, and that is the only way you can, like, recover from this. So I realized, well, shoot, okay, I guess I'll factory reset everything that I have downloaded or done recently. It was meaningless, and now it's all gone. Resetting my computer took a little bit of work, but once it was done, I felt a lot more closure. I felt like, well, now now I'm not going to get hacked anymore. Like, there's no more virus on my computer. Like, all is well. Oh my gosh, he survived. So after I reset, I told my friend, I was like, all right, everything's good now. Like, it, it's good. Like, I, the virus is gone. Factory reset. And he said, no, you're stupid. Change all your passwords. Now, this was right before my family dinner. Like, this was like 6 30 p.m prime dinner time like my family just called me down like five minutes after i had gotten this discord message so i had to tell them i was like guys i can't come down account hacked red alert emergency and they didn't ask twice they're like okay like they could tell it was a uh, something was up with me and that i was going through a crisis mode so they're like whatever fix fix what's going on just eat after so for the next like 30 to an hour, probably an hour, honestly, resetting the password on everything that I possibly had access to. Now, it wasn't until I had changed the password on everything that I finally felt safe again. I told him, I was like, all right, everything is reset. All my passwords are changed. Like everything should be fine. And he was like, all right, you're probably good now. Don't do this again. And it was, it was very humbling. I had been humbled twice in a very short amount of time and it was very needed. Now that my accounts were finally in good hands again, I talked to my friend and I was like, I didn't know that Minecraft hacks could do this. And he pretty much gave me a whole lesson on, yeah, a lot of stuff can give you like viruses and rats. Like even if it's like a, a Minecraft thing, like it can be a really big deal and it can be really bad. This was definitely a learning experience too, because ever since I would never risk downloading another hacked client, I'm not trying to get all my accounts sold again because now hacking accounts has gotten so much worse. Besides just telling the story in this video, I also want to talk about how big this issue has gotten in the whole Minecraft community. 
If you still play Minecraft or especially Hypixel, you've probably heard of the term beaming before. Now, basically, people would get tricked on Hypixel. Somebody would invite them to a party, be like, hey, here, get a free rank. All you have to do is put in your email and then verify this code and you get a free like Hypixel rank. And of course, all the noobs are like, yes, free rank. Finally, I can get VIP. But honestly, a lot of well-known players fell for this as well. Now, this beaming problem has happened to probably thousands of Minecraft players, especially on Hypixel, and it still happens to this day. There's been a really big issue recently with Lobby One parties and Bedwars, where people will say, hey, join my VC, it's in this server. People will join the server, and then they're prompted with a verification. Now, to get yourself verified on these servers, you have to put in your email, go to your email, and pretty much like type in a code. Because I have my incident with hacking, I'm way less susceptible to fall for these type of things now. I'm very fortunate that I was hacked in the way I was. My account wasn't compromised for more than a week, and I was able to get my account back just by changing my password. It could have been so much worse for me, and that's pretty much what's been happening to a lot of Hypixel players now. A lot of Minecraft players are losing their accounts permanently for falling for things like this now. You play on Hypixel, or if you have any friends or especially siblings, Watch out for these kind of things. They happen way more often than you may think, and a lot of people are falling for it. These hackers are getting very creative and very smart with the ways that they're stealing these people's accounts. So really be safe. So I think that's the end of the story. So now I just got to finish this game off with a win. Let's hope I can actually do it. Oh, come on. Oh my gosh, that actually worked. Okay, cool. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you really enjoyed. Please don't get hacked out there. Be safe. Thank you guys again for watching. See you all in the next video. Peace.